All right, what's going on guys? So just a little updated information. I know this was posted a couple days ago, but I haven't talked about this, um, the Buffalo, New York shooting on Jefferson Avenue. So this is by a man named Peyton. So he traveled from Con uh, Conquil, uh, New York, all the way to Buffalo, New York, which is about three hours and 30 minutes, man. And yeah, we all know this is a hate crime. And you know, specifically too, I know that the state of New York doesn't have a death penalty, but to this, turn this to a federal case, which it, which it should. He should have the death penalty or it's just life in prison because this is premeditated and it was just very sad that you know the three injured victims you know um actually three victims that he killed was one of them was a civil rights activist and one of them was a security guard the security guard you know luckily you know i don't say luckily but he ended up you know he ended up losing his life but he acted out in bravery and uh shot him but sadly that the bullets i believe he had a regular nine mil the bullets did not penetrate his uh, bulletproof vest and uh, he killed uh, a deacon, man. So it is so unfortunate. But three people that was injured ended up surviving. They were, you know, critical injured. And um, he was planning on to, if he wasn't stopped, he, if the police officers didn't respond or law enforcement didn't get there in time, he was planning on continuously to drive all over to Jefferson Avenue and continue to shoot more black people. So, you know, he had a derogatory term. Um, remark on his rifle. So he knew what he was doing. This was really critically planned by him. And my thing is the ideology and the manifestos that, hey, you know, as white people supposed to be superior according to the white supremacist on rhetoric, uh, according to that 2011 essay uh, from Ahmad Kamis that, oh, well, people from, you know, immigrants from the Middle East and, and Europe or Africa are planning on to, ex you know, uh, procreate and things of that nature and to the point that the white people are going to be extinct. And so they believe that in order to eliminate that, we're going to have to, you know, exterminate them. So I'm just looking like, what? Like, this is super crazy, man. So, um, you know, it's just a very sad event. So the memorial is happening right now. And uh, President Joe Biden said, you know, this is domestic terrorism. And, you know, when I was researching in the state of New York, they had a SAFE Act back in 2013. And so the SAFE Act was pretty much was proposed to uh, eliminate um, people to have um, to make it very preventative for uh, people to obtain um, weapons, you know, legally or anything in that nature to obtain any type of daily weapon uh, if they had a history of violence. But I mean, you know, if, if Kathy Hochul, who's the governor of New York, wants to do all these, you know, these strict gun laws, I mean, the gun laws only can go so far. This is why criminals going to find a way if they want to commit crime, they're going to find a way to obtain these guns uh, illegally. You get what I'm saying? So, I mean, the thing is, I feel like it's just hurting and punishing the law abiding citizens that want to protect themselves from crazy people like this. Right. I mean, think about the subway situation. Um, you know, they, they caught Frank James in. You know, people like him, Peyton, and other people, Dylan Roof, like, I just feel like these gun laws only can go so long because it's always going to be a loophole. It's always going to be criminals going to find a way to break the law. That's why they call criminals. They do things under the table, and they break the law, and they make it bad for everyone else. So, um, you know, with these strict gun laws, I mean, it's only so much you can do. It's already hard to obtain a weapon in the state of New York. But I want to go into detail here with Chanel T. She was the operation manager of Tops Market. She said she encountered this man uh, the day before the shooting, and uh, he was soliciting. He was asking people for change, and you, you really can't do that. He was making people uncomfortable, so she asked him to leave, but she did the right thing. You know, you you disrupting the customers, and you making them feel uncomfortable. Keep asking them for change. They're not obligated to give you change, and um, you know, they, she stated that he was angry. You know, he was wandering around. You know, he's looking around, plotting, I guess, and he left. And uh, the day, you know, of the shooting, you know, she was with her daughter and uh, told her, you know, get some candy or whatever, and. Uh, when she was around the parking lot, her shots, man, and uh, people was running out. And it was just a very terrifying event, man. So, I mean, you know, he, he was already here before, so he was already scouting the place. So he knew what he was doing, man. The fact that he drove three hours and 30 minutes to do this crime, it's, it's completely pathetic, man. I couldn't even believe it. But, um, you know, um, he wanted to commit suicide, didn't do it. I'm glad he didn't do it because I want him to suffer this punishment that he's doing because a lot of cowards do that anyway. But, um. It is what it is, man. Um, like I said, I'm very sad about this uh, situation here. I just want to go ahead. And if I get more information uh, about this, we'll see what we could do uh, according to our trial. But he's he should be locked away forever. You know, this is uh, really sad. So I'm praying for, you know, African-Americans, also to the, you know, whites, uh, whoever, what color it is, man. You know, a crime is a crime. Um, you know, that's just uh, our community is in saddening right now. So and a bit deep prayer for him. And we're going to continue to recover from this and we're going to continue to move forward and see what our politicians, these midterm elections are going to be like, these people in the positions of power. What can we do to 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 ensure safety, man, for our citizens and, 
and against these vigilantes or these people out here that just want to go ahead and commit crime and these white supremacists. But that's all we have to say, man. You guys tune in, like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys, man. Uh, share this video back in the States, man. So I'm going ahead and do some more editing if I can. But like, comment, subscribe, share this video. So I have to say, let's have a discussion. I'm out. Deuces.